Hello, this tutorial will go over the creation of a code book in NVivo as a way to begin the coding process. Codes in NVivo are collections of references from your data about a specific theme, topic, concept, or an idea, and they can either be purely descriptive or they can serve analytical purposes as well. Codes can be created prior to the coding process, or they can be created as you are coding, so either before or during the coding process. A codebook then is a way to categorize and to collect all of the codes associated with your project. A codebook can be helpful in maintaining a file of all of your codes in a single place. And so a codebook can be exported in NVivo to a separate file that can be used in future research projects. This tutorial will show you how to create a pre-existing codebook prior to beginning the coding process. This is most helpful in situations where perhaps you already have a clear research plan in mind. You might have already read literature and prior research on this topic, and you have an idea of what you are looking for in the data. So you might want to create this code book prior to the process of actually identifying and pulling out those themes so that uh, you can find the exact concepts and patterns of what you're looking for in the data. And so we have pulled up a sample project in NVivo on women's well-being. And so while there are various types of files as part of this project, for today's presentation, we will focus on a transcription of a group discussion. And so I have created a sample folder within the coding uh, tab here on the left-hand panel, where I will house all of our uh, created codes today. And so if you wanted to create various folders, all that we, you would have to do is right click codes and select new folder. And so let's select our sample folder for today. And so we will create a few random codes. Uh, and so on the top ribbon here, uh, under this create tab, I will select code and begin the process of coming up with a few uh, various themes that maybe have been informed by my prior reading of the of the literature on this specific topic. And so I would also suggest creating some sort of working description or definition of your code to help keep you organized and on the same page about what various codes and themes mean. It might be also interesting to you to associate a color with each code. This might also help you look at various patterns through a more visual representation of the themes. I will click OK. I will create a couple more. Physical well-being. All right, and you can create as many as you need to or as many as you want to, and they can always change. You can uh, change how they're called or change their definitions. And so let's begin coding just a couple of lines of this data. So I'm double clicking on this file to pull, it, pull up the transcript here. And so I'm not really closely reading this, but I just wanna show you how to, uh, how to code your data. And so I will highlight a section of my data, right click, and this first tab here on code selection, I will uh, click this little arrow to open up the codes that I've created in my sample folder, and I will uh, click on the code that I want to code to. So I'm coding this text under this community code. Code selection to community, click that. Uh, let's do a couple more. You can code as big or as small sections as you want to. I personally suggest uh, coding around the, 
the, the specific text to provide the full context of what, of what you want to code. So you'll click on code selection again, and so my folder is still open. I'll click on, let's say, emotional well-being, code selection to emotional well-being, and let's do this last one. Right-click, code selection, and let's do physical well-being. Okay, now I go back to my sample folder, and you can see that we have coded three files, one, two, three, uh, three times. So each of these codes has a single uh, reference associated within my data. And so one other thing that might be useful for you at this stage is to export your code book. And so this could be useful in applying the same uh, coding sheet or coding parameters to other similar projects or files. And so all you would need to do is go back to your sample folder in the left hand panel, right click sample folder and export code book and make sure that uh, the folder that you want exported is selected and you and you can also include the number of files and references so once you've done your coding process you might this might be helpful for you to see how many files how many references are associated with each of your codes at this point uh, select ok and it will come through as a word document and it has uh, created this table that has the three codes that we've created as well as their descriptions and the number of files and references. So this is another way for you to create a coding sheet that you can then use in this project or in future projects on this topic. Another way that you can code your data without a code book is as you're reading and going through your files, you can begin coding manually as you're reading your files. And so uh, maybe there is no guiding uh, literature or no guiding research question. Maybe you don't have a clear idea of what you'll find in the data. And so as you're reading, you might pay attention to uh, you know, interesting concepts and themes that you're noticing in the data, and you are interested in creating codes while you are reading your files. And so we're going to look at that same transcript of that same sample project in in vivo on women's well-being. But this time, we won't code to a, a pre-existing code. We will create a new code as we're reading. So. Let's um, highlight a section of text, uh, right click. And so here we will uh, look at uh, coding in and vivo. Okay, and so this has created uh, its own code right here in the main folder but maybe now we want to actually call it something else. So I will right click on that highlighted text that we just coded. I'll click on open code. And it's, it's going to pull out the reference that we just, uh, that we just highlighted. Code properties, so uh, let's call this community. And again, you can provide a description or a definition, informal or formal social networks. Select a color, okay. And then we'll go back to our data and we'll continue coding. I'll right click this and it's also up here as well so you can either right click and find it code in in vivo or you can highlight it and then it'll be right here as well and so it goes again into the main folder here of codes and you'll right click and then go to code properties and maybe this we want to call friendship 
again, you can create a definition here as well as a color and click on OK. And then as you're going, you'll see perhaps references to these already established codes. And so now at this point, you can code to recent codes. So maybe friendship again or community. So right click to recent codes, community. And now you can see that the reference number is, is now growing because there are more references associated with these codes.